So what is system hardening? So this is about making a secure default configuration of a system. An operating system such as Ubuntu is a, a sort of set of building blocks that um, you can create whatever you want from. It could be you know, a little development server, you could be playing games, or you could be running a production bank. Um, it's all the same components, but obviously need to be deployed in a different way. So system hardening is about having a defense in depth approach such that you take these building blocks and you put them together in a way which is maximally secure. So we reduce the attack surface by removing unnecessary components and unused tools, things that you're not using, you know, hopefully in a production environment, you know exactly what you need and what you don't need. So to harden the system, you take out the bits you don't need. You look at the privileges that people have and reduce the privileges to least possible. So you try to minimize the, uh, the root access, make sure that people only have, users only have access to the things they need. Well, essentially anyone who really doesn't want their systems to be hacked or wants to keep their systems secure. Some people will have uh, specific industry requirements for hardening. For example, anyone working with financial data and needs to be concerned with PCI DSS, or other industries such as um, the US federal markets, uh, the DOD have um, requirements for DESA STIG, which is a system hardening standard. But there are also industry agnostic hardening standards that can apply to everybody. The most widely deployed hardening standards are those developed by the Center for Internet Security, CIS. They provide hardening benchmarks for a wide range of software, operating systems, applications, databases, you name it, um, and including Ubuntu, um, which tell you how to configure a system in a maximally secure way. So first and foremost, we have what's called the Ubuntu Security Guide, or USG. Um, this is a, an automated tool to really help you smooth out the difficulties with the hardening process. USG has, has two modes of operation. You can use it to check a system, audit it, and find out how much of the hardening benchmarks have been applied and what you need to do next. But particularly interesting, it has a, a fixing mode where you can use the tool to take a vanilla operating system and then bring it into compliance with the hardening benchmarks. So I mentioned um, the CIS benchmarks, we have level one and level two, but we also work with the, with the DESA STIG benchmarks. And the USG tool enables you to very simply and easily take your operating system and then build up this, um, this security hardening um, in one step. If you try to do the hardening manually, um, some of these benchmarks will have 300 plus different hardening steps. Um, and it can be a sort of a, Quite a terrifying prospect which takes you months. The USG tool is a really smooth and easy way to take a plain operating system and turn it into a maximally secure operating system. Mm -hmm.